Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Matthews. I'm gonna be showing you how to use the ACSM formula for leg cycling ergometry in order to calculate the work rate when you already know the, the oxygen consumption that the person has been prescribed. So let's use a short question here to help us frame this. So Thomas is a client at your gym. He was prescribed leg cycling at an exercise intensity equal to 25 m, uh, milliliters of oxygen consumption per kilogram of body mass per minute. Um, and he weighs 152 pounds. What would the work rate that you set on the uh, leg cycle ergometer be in kilogram meters per minute? And what would it be in watts? Um, so we're gonna do both kilogram meters per minute and watts because the ACSM equations require the kilogram meters per minute to uh, make them work. Um, but most exercise equipment isn't gonna use that unit. Uh, watts is a lot more common. So let's, um, let's see how you can do each of those. All right, so let's look at the given variables here. So we have, so we have leg cycling as our exercise modality. We have the exercise prescription um, that saying that they should be exercising at 25 mLs per kg per minute. And we have the body mass of 152 pounds um, for the individual. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the pounds to kilograms. So 152 pounds divided by 2.2, .2, which is the conversion factor to kilograms, gives you 69.09 kilograms for their body mass. All right, so let's now look at the equation that we have to work with. So again, they're doing leg cycling, so we need the leg cycling equation. And the leg cycling equation is oxygen consumption in milliliters per kilogram per minute, so that's the relative to uh, total body mass uh, units, um, equals 3.5 mLs per kg per minute plus 1.8 times the work rate divided by the body mass plus 3.5 mLs per kg per minute again. So we need to do some rearranging of this formula in order to isolate the work rate. Um, so let's go ahead and work through that. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the uh, move one of the 3.5 uh, mLs per kg per minute to the other side of the equation. So I'm going to simply take this, which is a, a positive on the right side of the equation. I'm gonna subtract 3.5 from both sides of the equation, so this would cancel out and we end up with a negative 3.5 mLs per kg per minute on the left side of the equation. So we end up with mLs per kg per minute of their uh, relative oxygen consumption minus 3.5 equals the rest of the equation. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the other 3.5 by doing the same thing. So I'm gonna subtract that from both sides of the equation and we end up with VO2 minus 3.5 minus another 3.5, um, which you could combine that and just make it minus seven, um, equals 1.8 times the work rate divided by body mass. So now we need to get rid of both the uh, 1.8 and the body mass. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that in one step here, um, assuming that you're fairly familiar with this basic algebra. So on the 1.8 is being multiplied against the work rate, so we need to divide that out on both sides of the equation and the body mass is, uh, the work rate is being divided by body mass, so we need to multiply that out on both sides of the equation. So if we move it to the other side of the equation, we end up with um, everything we had before multiplied by body mass, because remember, it was division on this side, so we need to move it to the other side and make it multiplication, and divide that by the 1.8, because it was, again, multiplication on this side, so we need to make a division on the other side. We just reverse the sign, essentially, when we move it across the equal sign. So our final formula here is relative oxygen, oxygen consumption minus 3.5 minus another 3.5, um, and you're gonna wanna do that all first, and then multiply that by the body mass and divide it by 1.8. So let's go ahead and plug in our values. So 25 mLs per kg per minute was the prescribed exercise intensity in terms of oxygen consumption. Uh, so 25 minus 3.5 minus 3.5 times 69.06, .06, which is the body mass, divided by 1.8, and all of this is going to give you the work rate in kilogram meters per minute. So let's start doing this step by step here. So let's take the 25 and subtract one of the 3.5 uh, values from that. So we end up with 21.5 um, doing that. So subtracting out the other one, we're gonna end up now with 
18 mLs per kg per minute. Um, and now we're going to start getting into the body mass in this uh, 1.8 constant. So 18 times 69.09 is going to give us 1,243.62. Now we're going to divide that by 1.8 and we end up with 690.9 kilogram meters per minute as the work rate. So this is one of the things that uh, we said we were gonna calculate from the beginning, but remember kilogram meters per minute, while it's what the ACSM equations use, is not a very common unit um, that you're gonna see on most exercise equipment. So let's convert kilogram meters per minute to watts. And so the conversion factor for that is simply to multiply um, what we have in kilogram meters per minute, so 690.9 by 0 0.163, which is the conversion factor for watts, and we're going to end up with 112.6167 watts, um, which you just round probably to 113 watts. Um, so for this situation, you need to put 113 watts as the resistance on the bike, and you would end up with them exercising at the correct um, oxygen consumption for what was prescribed for them. So a little bit of rearranging of the equations necessary in order to make this work, but it's still fairly straightforward. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, you can put those below and I'll try to get back to you. Otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.